Hi everyone, today we're going to be looking at the easy steps to establish communication between Arduino Opta IoT PLC. We will now establish communication between our Arduino Opto IoT PLC and our computer. Every Opto IoT PLC comes with the ability to be programmed using the professional series Arduino PLC IDE or Arduino Pro. This is designed to implement industrial machine control functions and programming, including ladder logic. The Opto hardware is also designed to support industrial voltages. We will guide you through initializing and licensing the Opto IoT PLC. We will also use the Micro C USB connector and the Arduino PLC IDE software to communicate with the Opto PLC. Furthermore, we will also demonstrate how to put the Opto PLC into bootloader mode to enable the use of the Arduino IDE programs. Let's get started. Detailed information contained in this video can be found at accautomation.ca. A link has been put in the description below. If you have not watched the other videos yet, there will be links in the description below that will start you at video 1. There will be links to the rest of the videos in the series as well. Connection to the Opto IoT PLC Power up your Arduino Opto IoT PLC using a power supply. Power can also be applied to the CPU th only through the USB cable. Connect the Opto IoT PLC to our computer using a USB-C to USB-A cable. Plug in your cable. Note that not all USB-C type cables are the same. Some are just for charging. Ensure that your cable can be used for both data and charging. Using the device manager in Windows, determine the communication port that the Opto is connected to. There are a few ways to show the device manager on a Windows 10 or newer computer. Right click on the start menu or use Windows logo plus X. This will bring up a list that you can select device manager. Another way is on the taskbar in the search field next to the start button. Type device manager and press enter. There are more ways but these are the quickest. Up the PLC firmware and license activation. Start the Arduino PLC IDE software on your computer, 10, or newer software system using the icon created on your desktop. Select a new project once the Arduino PLC IDE splash screen disappears and the program has started. You can use the icon or select a new project from the file menu. Enter the name of the new project. The directory where your project files are stored can be changed. Our target is the Opta 1.0, which is the default selection. Select OK. The Opta configuration will now be displayed. You may have to scroll down and to the right to see all of the options. To the right under status, it tells us please connect to the target. Scroll down until you see other selection. Select the port number that the Opta is connected to. Select the download button. The firmware will be downloaded to the Opta turning this controller into a PLC. Click the Connect to Target icon in the main menu to confirm your connection to the Opta PLC. Under the status heading, you will see you do not have a license. Select the Activate PLC Runtime option and follow the prompts to activate your PLC runtime. Make sure to disconnect the power to your Opta controller and USB cable before proceeding. Once you have restored power and reconnected the USB cable to the controller, click the refresh button in the status area. Your Arduino Opta IoT PLC is now ready for you to start programming. 
Note that the Arduino IDE and Arduino PLC IDE are different programming software packages. Only the Arduino PLC IDE software will allow the Opta to run as a PLC. Using Arduino IDE for communication, bootloader. Using the regular Arduino IDE software, you must activate bootloader mode to upload code to the Opta. Connect your Arduino Opta IoT PLC to your computer via the USB-C cable that can handle both power and data. Simply double tap the reset button on Arduino Opta PLC to activate bootloader mode. This is indicated by the CPU's pulsing light. You can now proceed to download your program code. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below. If you have any questions about the video, please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. If you want more information about us or you want our free ebooks on numbering systems or robust data logging, please click on the link in the description below to get it. A new video is put every Monday, so make sure you hit the subscribe button to get more videos like this in the future. Remember to click the bell beside your subscription to actually receive those notifications. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Stay safe.